Hello everybody, John Zikowski here at Klukas Nyoma Shatiba. Today we're going to look at some solo cutting drills from a few different systems. The first one we're going to look at is from the Italian systems. It's the uh, Molinos, Molini, okay? I did another video about that, the link's in the description. Let's take a look at this one here. This is an Italian Rodelli style saber. And the first one we have is the inside uh, Molino going to the head. So it looks like this. Okay, and from the side, it looks like this. This is something you can practice continuously. Now they're pivoting from the elbow here. Okay, and the next one, it's coming from the outside, going to the head. Looks like this, okay? And from the other side, looks like this. Now sometimes they put, they lean into the cuts like this. Okay, if you're just doing a solo drill, you can do it like this, from the first position, or from the guard position. And you can mix these two. All right, the next one. And come off after their uh, very five and come into the side of the head. So it looks like this. Okay. And from the other side, like this. Okay, then you have another one coming off their very six. And come in here and cut to the other side of the head. Okay. Now you can also cut lower too. Okay. And then we have the uh, Ascending cuts coming like this. Okay. And the most difficult one coming in here like this. Now, the Italians, they recommend the thumb here in the back of the grip. I actually find it easier if you put your thumb on the side of the grip to do this last one. Okay? This is a cut three in the British system. Okay? You can do this continuously or you can connect them together. Okay, now they're going to bend with the elbow. All right, put this away. Grab a Spanish infantry saber. Now let's take a look at some of the uh, British systems. Follow this: the broadsword and saber systems in England follow a lot of these, this this type of method. Here they, they usually stand in the first position. Usually have their arm, arm out here straight, and they're going to do it with the wrist. And they're going to be doing something like this: one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Try not to bend the arm here. Okay? Go back there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And from the other side, something like this. Two, three, four, five, six. Or you can just hook them together. One and twos. One and two. Alright, pretty good for your arm. Make sure you want to do these with both sides. Now we're going to look at something I came up with. Uh, taking the, uh, the six points of attack from Jaime Medellino's system. Uh, so we're kind of taking ideas from the British system, the, uh, the six cut drill, and we're going to use it with, with the Spanish number. So uh, we know that the, uh, with the angles of the attack in the Spanish system, you're going to be uh, one, two over here, okay, and three, four, five, and six. So it's going to look like this. One, two, three, four, Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can do this with the wrist, with the elbow, or even a little bit of the whole body. Okay. And from the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Now something that uh, occurred to me is that all these drills involve the cut going through the target, okay? Well, what happens if you bounce off the target? So we're going to take a look at the boxing bag over here. I'm going to cut this guy a little bit. Cuts at home. Good luck and stay safe. Bye bye.